What almost looks like a duck. What almost tastes like a duck. This is my recipe for a vegan Chinese roast duck. It's high in protein, low in calories, but most of all, it's really tasty. I'm sure you will like it. Now you can order the products and ingredients that I use in my cooking videos. Just click the link below in the description for the Chinese cooking accessory guide. So we'll start off with uh, three cups of Vita wheat, uh, wheat flour. So here I have the uh, chickpea flour. The Vita wheat gluten will have the texture of meat, but it will be very chewy. So that's why you need to add half a cup of the chickpea flour. As an option, you can also add baking powder. So baking powder will make the uh, Vita wheat gluten a more spongy kind of texture. I'm going to put two tablespoons of this brewer's yeast. So that's a good source of protein. Uh, you can also use the uh, nutritional yeast as well instead of the brewer's yeast. So next, just mix the uh, two kind of flours with the brewer's yeast. So put in the uh, water. So put in two and a half cups of water. So just knead the, uh, knead the dough for about four to five minutes. So this is a seitan. I baked it in the oven for half an hour at 350 degrees. So now it's going to go into the water and uh, simmer for another 60 to 90 minutes. Now you can see the back side is pretty uh, toasted, so this is the top. So I'm just going to put this into the water. Hope it doesn't overflow, I'm not sure how much, how much displacement this is going to take. Oi! Pretty close, pretty close. So these are the tops of the uh, king oyster mushroom. So we're going to have three uh, textures in the mushroom. So it looks actually like uh, scallops. So I'm going to grill these uh, king oyster mushrooms. I cut it into slices. I'm going to grill these as well. I preheat a frying pan at uh, medium high heat. Put about three tablespoons of cooking oil in there. Put a Two tablespoons of uh, chopped ginger and garlic. I'm going to use uh, onions, mushrooms, and apple. I'm going to put some of this uh, shredded uh, king oyster mushroom. So it's the same mushroom, I just shredded it. So it gives the texture. I'm going to turn on the high now, just give it a quick here. So here I have uh, two BC Delicious Apples. It's called uh, BC Delicious. That's the name of the apple. So just put that into the uh, other ingredients. So the the apples are, I'm not going to cook it too much. Just put it in there just to mix it up. So you get some of the sweet flavor from the apple. It's a pretty nice sweet apple. So you get that into the, uh, I guess they would call this the dressing or the, the, the middle of the uh, duck. I'm going to take it off right now. So now we're just going to take off the uh, seitan. So it's expanded a bit, but not too much. To make three cups of gravy, mix three to four tablespoons of cornstarch in a third of a cup of water, and then bring to a boil. The seitan has cooled off a little bit, so what I'm going to do now is uh, find the wide bottom here. So I'm going to take a piece off, so that's going to be the bottom. I want to check the texture. It's a little bit less chewy compared to the uh, turkey that I made before because I put more of the uh, chickpea flour so it should be less 
chewy. So just spread it out like this. So this will be the bottom. Just like that. This will be the bottom of the duck. I'll put it in later. Maybe just angle it like this. So that's going to form the drumstick. Same thing on the other side here. I find that you just cut the drumstick from the car the main body here better than just boiling as a separate as a separate drumstick because they, they tend to blow it up. So this is still pretty meaty looking. So from here, we're just going to cut the uh, seitan down the middle here. So don't cut it all the way through, just uh, leave uh, a part of it attached on the end there. So we go like this. So it's going to form like a duck right this way. You can find the tofu skin in the frozen food section like this one. Or you can find them on the shelf in the local Asian supermarket. So here I have the uh, tofu skin. So they make in sheets. Uh, basically it's a uh, bean curd. So when they boil the bean in the water, you get this layer. It's like the curd. It's like when you have chocolate milk, uh, you leave it for a while. The, that layer that forms. This is a similar idea. So this sheet will just fit right on the bottom here. It's actually two sheets here. Okay. You got two sheets. So you want to cut off the edge here. This little part is folded, so it's a little thicker. But I just leave it on. And the other day I was um, eating the tofu skin, and I thought it was turkey skin. It was the next day, and I said, "Oh, I'm lucky to have some turkey skin." It turned out to be tofu skin. So it tasted almost the same. Like it had the same kind of texture as real turkey skin. So now I'm just going to put the uh, bottom of the turkey, so this would be the bottom right here. The other way. So it'll be like that. It's not going to hold. Okay, there. I'm going to put the apples and the onions and everything else here. So I just put it on top. For the basting sauce, you need a soybean based sauce. So I like to use uh, chuho sauce. So you need about six tablespoons of chuho sauce. Or you can use hoisin sauce, Chinese barbecue sauce, or even my favorite sauce, the Chinese oyster sauce. So put it on both sides. So what I'm going to do now is just cover the, uh, the, 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 the mixture here with the apples and the uh, onions. So just cover it. I'm just going to squeeze everything in as much as I can. And then I'm going to baste the uh, side of this. I'm going to put uh, just a light coating on the outside too. Even though I'm going to cover it with the uh, with the uh, tofu skin, I'm gonna base the. I'm gonna base this uh, duck. I guess I call it. It's got the flavor of the duck.
so there you have it. It looks kind of like a duck, a nice color. We'll see how it turns out. This is what it looks like. A little bit wide because it's got a lot of uh, ingredients in the bottom there. So we're going to go about 45 minutes at 375 degrees. There you have it, vegan style barbecue duck. Enjoy. The other day, I had uh, I took a piece of turkey skin. I said, oh, lots of turkey skin. I ate it. I thought it was turkey skin. It was this. It was this stuff, eh? I mean, I fool myself. But but somebody came on my site. He said, uh, "Are you as good, Uncle Roger?" I know what they're talking about. But he doesn't want to insult Gordon because you know, he's famous, right? Eh? Uncle Roger. He goes by Uncle Roger. So there you have it. A simple, easy recipe for vegan Chinese roast duck. So give it a try. I'm sure you enjoy it. Thanks for checking out my video. And be sure to give me a thumbs up. And also subscribe so you can get the next new video. And thanks to my viewers for helping me win the top 20 best Chinese food blogs in the world. And also, I was awarded the top 40 China YouTube channels in the world. And also, uh, please subscribe. Just press the button.